Hi, you guys. So we're gonna paint the uh, rainy umbrella. So it's the water all shimmery back here, and then there's an umbrella, right? And then this part, like a triangle, is gonna be darker. Right there, so it's like a shadow. And we're gonna try to make a 3D painting, okay? Which means you need dark areas, all the way dark, and then medium and light, right? So white is our light, the darkest will go is tiny bit of black, because black's really aggressive, mostly dark blue, and then all of the in-between colors. So white, you can't get rid of white, little pieces of white for the brightest you can go, and then a little bit of black for the darkest you can go. That makes it more 3D, okay? So uh, I'm scared of using black, I really am, because it scares me, because it makes your paintbrush all dirty, and then, um, then when you go to, it, like all the colors turn a little bit grayish, and because there's a little bit of purple in black, every, it's a, uh. so we're a little bit, a little bit. That's my big suggestion when we go to use black. Okay, so we're gonna paint the background first because the umbrella's on top. So if we get a little bit of water, oops, 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 on the umbrella or on our stem, that's where it usually happens, um, or on, on our handle, um, then we, we know that we're gonna paint on top of it once it's dry, right? And the handle is blick, blick. So once we have black on our paintbrush, that's all, you know, the paintbrush is kind of done because it just changes the color of everything else because we don't have water. I don't paint with water because I've had a drip of water escape and, look, and because it's a solvent to acrylic paint, it literally erases the paint. You can't put it back on, it won't stick. Right, so I don't do that. So we're gonna paint the background of shimmery water. And when you paint water and the ground, you use uh, horizontal lines or straight flat lines, right? Why? Because it represents water. Up and down, that's grass or a fence post. No. So it's always side to side. And the trick is to pick up your paintbrush. and to get little pointy sides it's very cute okay and then you let the pointy sides be there because they look like little I don't know look like little miniature clouds I don't know it's pretty okay so that's what we're gonna root for today so we have our colors and I gave you a whole bunch of white because basically the whole background is painted white with decoration and then uh, then there's for, for the water dark blue I don't know if you can yeah you can see that it's dark blue and then, then there's pretty purpley blue and she dries darker than this but it's a it's like a highlight and then there's a little bit of pink because we have a red umbrella so in order to make 3d we need dark medium light so here's medium here's light maybe even a little bit of we could mix a little bit of white with it and then and then what would be the darkest the black uh, just kind of, kind of bit, kind of, kind of, kind of bit, right? Because, ooh, I, I just keep saying that because I want you to be delicate with it and not be aggressive with it. Okay, and now let me show you our paintbrushes. Big paintbrush, right? It's totally used, don't care. But we don't use the tip of this paintbrush. She's real sharp. And it scratches the paint off and makes little marks in your paint. So we use the flat side of the paintbrush. So it's, and you can even feel that it's smooth. So that means the texture would be smooth. But if you forget and start to go like this and use the tip, you're like, oh, I just made a mark in my paint. You'll recognize it right away and fix it. You'll just adjust it, okay? And because I said it, as soon as you recognize that you got stripes in it, you'll be like, oh, the thing she said happened. You'll see. And then we have these, right? So this big one, right? you smash it and she gets really big love what background and the water and then you have to go a little smaller right and then she's for the water on the bottom so we want to make little tiny marks smaller marks and you can still smash her and make her bigger right and then itty bitty baby one and what's she for basically umbrella look how it fits exactly fits right oh and you can't scribble because you'd fall outside the lines, right? Jump, 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 jump. Oh, no. 
So you just like drive your car right down it, bring your pull, pull, and then you run out of paint, and then you push back up. Look how slow I went, because I'm concentrating, right? And then the little one can also be for adding a tiny bit of black to maybe the shadow of the umbrella right here. And then I don't even trust this tiny paint. Maybe I'll just smear it away a little bit with my finger. And then it can also be used for making tiny little marks in like that, nice and horizontal and flat in the water. Okay, so those are our paint brushes. So we're gonna use our white paint first and the big paint brush. No, we need to use this medium paint brush first because we have to outline our umbrella, like protect it. Um, so uh, we don't get any too much paint in it. I forgot, so we have to do this first. So open your white and watch out for this very dangerous lid because it's full. <laughs> I've had this fall on my carpet. Mm. So just put, push it far away from you. Get out of here, lid. We'll get you later. So it's not hanging near the edge or, I know. And then a little paintbrush. And we're gonna outline this umbrella. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna ruin it. Let me show you my trick. So we're just gonna take our paintbrush and stab the white get a blob of white on there you're like oh, it's so much you'll see so when we go to outline something with paint it's not crayons or a color pencils or markers where you have to scribble to get all that color out no it's so thick you just basically smush the paint and it just comes out all good but we want to go right next to that line and i'll bring it closer so you can see but i'm going to smash my paintbrush like this smash and then that one little hair up the, the, the edge of the paintbrush, we'll sneak up, push it, push it, push it, touching! And once it's touching, then we can pull straight down and a nice smooth bead of paint will we'll go on there. As soon as you run out of paint, just get more paint and then come back, smash, sneak, go. And this side of the paintbrush, we don't care. We're gonna paint all this white. But we're just trying to get a nice edge next to our umbrella. Okay, so paintbrush. And I step, get paint. I'm just gonna land, and it's white on white, hard to see, right? So I just go smash, sneaking, I'm trying to get closer, I'm trying to get closer, oh, I touched it. Then I push, oh, oh, what? I'm not scribbling, one hair, and then it's good, I did it. Oh, oh, I painted on the line, just use your finger. See, it comes back, there's a little mocha on my finger. Just use a napkin there. And then get more paint. Push. Now we have to go above the umbrella. Smash. And we'll just do half the umbrella. Now we have to do both. Sorry. And then smash. Wee. Look, it gets easier as you do it. Oops, sorry. It gets easier as you do it. And then this flat line that sticks out on both sides of the umbrella, that means uh, we just go straight across. This will be the sky and this will be the ground. Okay, this is the ground right here at that line. So I get more paint and I just run, just run it off the page. Just pretend like it's flat, whatever. Now let's do this side. If I'm going too fast, push pause. Because you're not here, so I can't walk around and help you. Slow me down. So you have to push pause, you have to control me. Go smash, here I go. Look at, I'm holding my paintbrush upside down because I felt like my hand was in the way. There. And I go, eh, hard. And I'm just pushing, look at that thick bead of paint. Can you see it? Turn the corner very hard. Ah. I did it. And then get, this time I'm just get less paint because I want to go underneath the, the hook. And I'm just going to stick my paintbrush, boop, oh, it fits perfect. And then pull trying to protect the stem because I can't see those black lines if I paint over them. They'll disappear and I, I, don't, I won't be there to help you redraw it. So we're going to protect it. And then smash, ride the roller coaster of the umbrella. Hope you can't see because my hand. And then wee. And then down this side, wee. Oh, I got some on there. Look. If I wipe it off, it won't be so, uh, napkin. it won't be so invisible. And then 
push off the page. And even when we're painting the water, if you get some on the black lines we're trying to protect, just use your finger. Yeah. Just so it's not so thick. Just be a little lighter, but we'll still be able to see our black line. Okay, so we're all done. Just leave the white paint on there. Set it on your on a napkin. You could even grab a napkin just for paintbrushes. That's probably a good trick that I could say for next year. And then this dirty little paintbrush I use a million times. It's just to drop off white paint. We're just gonna get we're gonna get it wet back here and all shiny with white paint. And then we'll decorate it with blue. But you have to be a little bit generous. And then give it permission to have lumps of paint. Don't go back and keep flattening your paint. She's a little sponge. So you get it on there all good. It's thick, like frosting. Not like dripping. But meh. And then if you keep going back and touching it, she soaks it back up. She soaks it back up. And then once the paint is thin, the air steals all the water out of it. And it's all sticky and lumpy. And we're trying to make water. So it has to be thick and whoosh, whoosh, slippery, slippery. Okay, so I'm gonna get my big paintbrush and just stab my white paint. I'll show you. Boop. Oh, why is that so much? Well, we're gonna paint right here. I'm not gonna get near my umbrella just yet. I'll sneak up to it, right? It's a better trick. But side to side only, horizontal and flat. I'm gonna pick it up and push it around. And look at those lumps. Do you see the lumps? It's perfect. Don't go back and fix that. I would, I would go back and just get more paint right now. To go and attack these dry spots. I would not go back here. I like those lumps. Those will be little white highlights on your water where you let it be thick. So step, more paint, and then maybe get rid of all this dry stuff. Oh, more paint. Did you hear it? You can actually hear when it gets dry. It's a different sound. It's not slippery. More paint. Poke. Glob slop. Glob. I don't go back and touch it. Oh, look at how close I got. I just landed right on that line I already made. Whoop, pull. Land, pull. I didn't get any. If I go towards my umbrella, ooh, oh. So put land right on the line you already made and pull away. Right? Now let's get near our umbrella. Pull away. Pull away. Just slop that paint on. And it's, oh, look, I got a dry spot. You know, if someone's sitting next to you, they can point out the dry spots. <gasps> I have a fan in here. It's drying real fast. <gasps> Gotta hurry. It has to be really wet in order for this to work. Don't slow down. Stab the white paint. It's a whole lot of paint, right? Because we're just going to land. Smush, smush, smush. Slop it on. Oh, it's already dry. Stab another one. Slop, slop. Uh-oh. Now I can sneak up closer to my umbrella. Because there's only a little... Now I can go land, pull away, put my paintbrush over there. There's a little bit more paint on the other side. Smith, oh, there. Oh, I have to go down to the water line. Ah, I thought it was done. More, more, more. Stab it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. So good. Oh, I got a little bit on the umbrella. Swipe with my finger. Okay, hurry, it's drying. Okay, so put this guy down, and, and now for my big giant paintbrush. We haven't used her yet. She's soft on her sides, not her tip. Just the so, so you smash it like this, and then let's open our two blues, dark blue and purpley blue, and we're just gonna stab our blue, dark blue. Oh, let's drop it off. And long skinny strings like this. Oh, I think I need one more poke. Pew, pew, pew. That's all. Just some. Okay. And then, by, look at how, where I first land, it's super dark. That'll be a shadow piece. And when I ran out of paint, it got really light. That'll be a light piece. Now, with a dirty little paintbrush, stab your purpley blue. Stab! <laughs> and put it where dark blue isn't, right? I guess there and there and there. Oh, I ran out already. I even used the so other side of my paint. I need more purpley blue. <laughs> Boop. 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 Now we're going to clean this paintbrush. And we just dropped the color off. We're not mixing or anything. Our whites are already drying and I'm kind of upset about it. So, clean your paintbrush real quick. Paper towel. Fold it over. Squeeze it! Let's get some globs of white 
that will make those sh oh pretty <laughs> i like it okay i have to fold it over so it doesn't get on anything else because it happens and then i'm gonna get a scoop of white <gasps> okay it landed on my hand and then put blobs of white those will be shimmery and shiny get it off my hand too okay now we're gonna make stripes but we have to jump over the umbrella handle okay so what we're just gonna however they turn out they turn out they'll be still look like stripes like this of the three different colors white dark blue and purpley blue so i just smash my paintbrush now and then stop look at the pretty colors don't touch it again or you'll mix them together we like the stripes next just below that, touching the bottom of that. Oh, jump over in there. <gasps> and then start here off the page. Oh, I hit some color and then stop. Oh, we can go back and touch it up near the umbrella if we have to. Jump over. Oh, pretty. But look, I'm picking up color as I go. So, just drop it off somewhere. Next row. Get close to the umbrella, then stop. Jump over. Next row. Do you have dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces, or are you scribbling it together and making one color? Right. Oh, I hit a piece of white. That's going to be a shiny, shiny piece. Very white. Very nice. not push so hard right there because I was going to get it on my umbrella. I just didn't push as hard so she didn't open as big. Now I'll do this one. And then I have to go here. Just with the color that's left on my paintbrush. Look at all that color. There's no color right here. Watch. Slop. 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 Down to the line. Slop. 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 There. Okay. Done. Wait. Pieces of white still. Let me just get up. Go. Oh, there. Okay, now just what's left on your paintbrush, use the just right color, will land right by the umbrella and go straight, straight, straight. So land right on the line, you land and go like that just to get rid of this little white stuff near your umbrella. I'll bring it closer so you can see. Land and push, land and push, land and push, land and push, straight as I can. Oh, a little bit under there. Oh, it's drying. I don't like it at all. There. Land and push. Land and push. Okay. That's it. No other fixing required. Okay, right there. I totally missed. Oh. As soon as I walk away, I see it because I'm not wearing my glasses. Okay. Oh, and there's <laughs> Okay, there. That's all. But I can still see the black lines of my umbrella. And if I got it on there, a fingernail scratch. Fixed it. See the napkin. Okay, very pretty, right? Very pretty. No fixies. Don't go back and touch it. It's drying so fast, the texture will be all icky and weird, and you won't like it. It gets all gummy, and the paint starts to literally like peel off or something. Don't like it. Okay, now we're gonna do this part. And this part is almost the same, but it's, it's gonna be darker. Right? And then we'll put a little bit of black in this triangle piece. I oh, know. So let's just paint these sides. And we'll just use this paintbrush. And um, we'll just stab the white, even though our paintbrush is dirty. We're making rain anyway. So stab your white, get a scoop of white. And just nice and straight. And you see how they go dash, dash, dash? Just pretend like it's a zigzag -y line. You just know, land about there land about there land about there but it's all ratty and it's not a box don't straighten these lines they're all like eh, eh, eh. so they're stripe pretty straight pretty straight that's what they mean so i just go land land oh it runs out of paint not like the big paintbrush anymore land 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 there and then the other side don't overthink it we're fixing it later we're not putting it in the middle part because it has to be darker for the shadow Oh, Jake, get in your way. Sorry. More white. I can't use up all my white. 
Now let's get some dark blue. Stab your dark blue like you're mad. Oh, and we'll drop it on. Pew, 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 pew. And then get another stab for the other side. Pew, 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 pew. And then let's make our stripes. Land swoop, 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 land Little stripes. Stripe, 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 stripe. Now we gotta open our red a little bit. So we're gonna put the reflection of the red umbrella in there. I think I wanna switch paintbrushes. She feels too big. Can we get medium paintbrush? Remember her? And she's all full of white paint. We don't need this white paint though. Remember, pause when I go too fast. It's my fault because I'm by myself in here. So go squeeze. I'm not there with you. So I'm gonna get just a poke of red paint. Step. Let's put it right here underneath the umbrella. Ooh, let's make it stick out a little bit. So it's like four fingers past the umbrella. Pew, pew. There, just to throw it. Throw it, oh, made purple. Pew. Nice. And with this dirty paintbrush, let's get some dark, just with the red on it, stab the dark blue. And just go. I'm trying to like touch both of those sides of the water. No, touch, 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 touch. So I'm gonna stab my dark blue. Oh, look at it, it doesn't hold as much paint. You have to stop and get paint more often. Oh, oh, I'm not really touching the side right there. There, now let's, let's make this, let's to make uh, the shiny side and the dark side touch. So you just go completely straight and flat. Pew, pew. And then pew, pew. You put the light and the dark and the dark and the light. Like this. Completely straight. Push up, push up. And I'm doing it just the tip. I'm doing it super soft, like this soft. <laughs> just tickly, tickly soft. Pew, 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 pew. Push and shove, push and shove. So the edges disappear a little bit. Push and shove, push and shove, push and shove. And it's wider on the bottom, smaller at the top. Ooh, I got some of the red again. Pretty. Now we have to make it a little bit black. I'm scared. Open your black. I know. It's everything I told you. A little bit of black on the end, so watch me. I'm going to sneak. <laughs> so scared. Okay, and where are we gonna put it? Just put little dots down the middle on the shadowy part. They look like buttons. That's funny. And it has to still be wet. And then we'll just throw it to the right and then the left. But they just stay in the tummy part, in the middle. Push, shove, push, shove. Push, shove, push, shove, push, shove. There. Oh. Well, oh, I got light right in it, but it didn't hurt nothing. Okay, now it's a little bit shadowy. And I just got streaks of black. Cause remember, if you can go all the way dark and all the way light, it's way better. Okay. So scary. I don't. I don't like it cause I'm. I'm scared of my room when it's a little bit. Cause she's a super. Basically, black is the darkest purple ever, ever, ever. See how she looks a little bit purpley, touching the blue. But it was just a tiny bit of black. Okay, now we have all this color on there, so we should lick it off. No, get a paper towel. Oh, here's that paper towel. I have a fan in here and it blew my paper towel. So I'm gonna get a paper towel, fold it over. Hard pinch with a squeeze. It's kind of pretty. <laughs> okay, and then now we get to do our umbrella. And look how I didn't quite I should have went back. There's still a little tiny bit of color left on my blue. I'm just barely going to touch it to my umbrella. I had white. I didn't go back and touch it up like we did the umbrella stick. There. Oh, just, just a little white. I got it. Oh, wait. There's another one. Tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit that was left. 
Now the umbrella is red. Okay, I'm so excited. So um, we'll do one section at a time. There's one, two, three paintings there. Each one gets its own little something, something. Okay, so we're gonna um, find our red paint. We cleaned our paintbrush, just stab your red. And then with a, oh, we're gonna outline it. And I know I went too fast. Remember you paused. Don't panic. You're pausing. You can rewind and have my voice over what we already talked. Don't worry. You have control over me when you're on video, right? Stop me, start me. So I'm gonna go, I need to outline this. And the umbrella is in front of the water. So I kind of let my, when I go smash, I let that little, that little um, hair touch the water, right? Cause she's on top of the water. So I smash, I'm gonna hold it closer for you. And I go, see, I got little ratty pieces on my umbrella. I'm about to fix them. So I go smash. Okay, I haven't done it yet. Push, sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, there. Yeah. Pulling, not picking up. Pulling, ride the roller coaster. Oh, I got dry. I need to poke more. Land, sneak down, whee. Then get more. Do this side. Remember, push pause as soon as I demonstrate because I keep talking. Can't help it. Now the top part. And as soon as you have the outline done, then come back. Okay, then. I'm going to paint in stripes. Wee! Touch, pull down, touch the bottom. Wee! Oh, it's all dry. More paint. Wee! 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 I like a slide. Go down the slide. It's very red. And I'll have to go back and smooth it. We're going to add more colors. Okay, and then. Now we need a teensy bit of black. This scares me a lot. Oh yeah, let's use our teeny tiny paintbrush. She'll help us. Because we only need a tiny bit of black, right? So we're going to touch our black paint. I just got some because I'm scared of black. Okay. I'm just going to put it near because the, the shadow is on the very bottom. Touch the bottom. And just climb up and stop. It'll just run out of paint really. And then maybe another row slightly next to that one. Okay, that's all. You want to see up close? Just basically runs out of paint a little bit, and that's all. Okay. But that looks silly. Can I just touch it with a little bit of my big paintbrush? Just one time, just flat, flatten that little piece a little bit. So I'm going to get my big paintbrush. Touch, smash, wait. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. Touch so much. Oh, we gotta get this off our paintbrush. It's all my paintbrush. It's gonna make everything black. Okay, paper towel, squeezy. Get that black out. We'll just get a little bit more red and push her back down. Okay, so I stab my red. Let's push her back down. Look at how big she got. Calm down, black. Just push her down. Whee! And then turn your paintbrush over. Flip and push this and land on this one and push it down. Oh, nice. And then, oh, 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 you see I'm spreading it? Oh my gosh, black is such a brat. Okay, I'm gonna get more. Now clean it. Okay, let's just push black down. Push down. Okay, that's all you get. Push, okay, and then wipe my paintbrush off. She's such a, she wants to be everywhere. Calm down, black. Okay, now let's, that's the darkest we can go. This will be the ugliest one because the other two will be cuter. And then find your beautiful pink because she's the brightest. Red is medium, right? There, or black is the darkest. Red is medium. Pink will be our highlight. <gasps> okay, so stab your pink. And now we're gonna get it near close to the top and just push it like halfway, right? You just land. And swipe. <gasps> I just dropped off a boogie of pink. That's all I did. Watch. I don't let it go down to halfway. That's all. And maybe, ew, there's some on the other side. So I turn my paintbrush and go, oh, oh, well, that's nice. And that's all. Look at, now I have dark, medium, light. It's hard to see. I can see it real good in person. Okay, so they're just little schmears. 
just like we allowed it to be smears up in our water, little, little high level smears. So I clean my paintbrush because I'm going to go get red and do another section. Remember, if you keep touching it, what's going to happen to that pink if you keep touching it? You want to see? Watch. This is where I dropped off the pink. I'm going to touch it. 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 I'm... It's just red. <laughs> Red's more powerful. So get your pink. There. And then you just let her sit there. No touchy touchy. Okay. And then I'm going to clean my paintbrush because I touched off pink again. And then stab the red and we'll do this side. Okay, so, okay, how do you outline? You know, we did it a bunch of times already. So I go smash, and I'm gonna overlap the water just by a little bit. Oh, that made it all the, I, I wanna make it a little bigger. No, it's fine. No, a little bigger. Smash, oh, and there's a glob. Just let the glob sit there. She'll completely flatten and dry. Because the air will escape and just leave the color powder. You know what I mean? So I get the red. I outline this one. Yeah. Ooh, I, I cut enough paint. I made it the whole way without stopping. And a little bit more for the top step. And a smile at the top. Now we can paint it, but just land at the top and fall, wee. wee. Oh, that's too dry. It's completely see. What? Let's see through. More paint. But I have to slide down the slide. Wee. Then wee. It's still dry. God, this paintbrush doesn't hold a lot of paint. You have to stop a lot and get paint. Wee. 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 It's always bit not straight, falling down the slide, falling down the slide. Okay, scary part. Black. Who used too much black? <laughs> Can we get less this time? I'm just gonna get a ton of tiny speck of black. Like a ton of tiny. I scared black because she's very, very sort of great. So I just go, oh, okay. And I land and push it uphill. I'll peel just two pieces and now push it up with our red paint still on there maybe get more there and I'm gonna push it uphill you know when you climb up a slide instead of go down it yeah <gasps> I stretched it that's all <sighs> and then up this way whoa okay <gasps> I want to put red on this one Calm down, Black. I did it. I told Black to calm down over there. I just went. Whoosh. Now I get to clean our paintbrush and get pink. And I'm going to get my pink. I'm going to push it downhill. Watch. Watch. Ooh. I land at the top. Smash. Flick. 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 Oh. Highlights. You want to see up close? I'll show you. I stab my pink. I just land and pick and pick and then I'm done. If it mixes with red, it's none of my business. None of my business. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush so we can do the middle one. Remember, pause me when you must. It is the law. Hey, bad fan knocked over my paint. Pinch. And then keep it folded. Mine blows around in my room and lands on the carpet. Okay, now this one. Ready? Now I'm going to stab the red step. And then do the sides. Oh, they can totally touch the other umbrella. Yeah. And is it okay to have lumpy paint? Do you have to smooth it? No. The thick part, when you let it give it permission to be thick, it dries darker because it just leaves behind that pile of pigment. Pigment is the powder you put in the gel that makes paint. It's kind of like this, like hot chocolate milk. Okay, now I have to go. I have to slide down both slides. Wee, 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 wee. And all of a sudden in the middle, I'm standing up straight. Weird. <laughs> but I'll show you. This one's like a slide. Wee. Then the next one. Wee. Then, 
but oh, I stand up straight. Now it's time to switch. Slide down this slide. Wee, wee, wee. Look at that mistake I made right there. Don't go back and fix it. You could just make it just sneak and make the umbrella a tiny bit taller. But you can't fix it or put the, you know, just because you have blue on this paintbrush, don't ever go back and try to fix something. It's already dry, right? It's already dry. So if I go and try to put a, a dirty little paintbrush, it's all dry and sticky too. It's just throwing the, so don't go back. However it turns out, it turns out. Just be happy and have fun. And I think there's enough black. No, there's not. We need a little tiny poke. A black. I can't remember. How much time? <gasps> Touched it. And now I'm going to push it uphill. Wee. Okay, let me do this one. Wee. There. Wee. That's all. But I'm going to use my, I'm going to push it up with my other paintbrush. Just follow the same road that you already did. Uphill. Uphill. Up, up, uphill. Okay, there. Well, oh, I'm ruining it. Did you see all my times I touched it? <laughs> You know, I'm just going to go with it, okay? And now we have to make sure that all the blacks are touching. So just grab this black and run it across and make it touch. Wee! Okay, because your paintbrush is a little dirty. Wee! And then maybe pull it up from the bottom. Flick, flick, flick there. So the black is perfect. Now I get to clean our paintbrush and do the pink way easier. Remember, push pause. I went too fast again. I can feel it. So you push pause. And then get the hot pink. And now we're just going to, we have to fall down the same slide. Let me bring it closer. So I'm going to wee, then wee, and then that's all. And then go to the other side so you can fall down the slide. Not straight. I'm going wee with the curve. Wee, wee, oh, and then I ran out kind of in the middle, but that's all right. It looks good. Isn't that pretty? It looks better where you are than here. Now all we have left is raindrops and a black handle. Let's clean this pink paintbrush off. I'm going to go ahead and clean my big. You know I leave the paint on there for a reason. It stays wet longer if you leave that chunky paint on there. As soon as you wipe it off, the air can attack the paint and turn it into plastic. And then you can't get it off. It's a trick, I know. So I'll tell them, don't wipe your paintbrush off. And they're like, what? Because <laughs> it's easier for me to clean it when it's all soppy wet. And, I, and then it didn't dry on my uh, um, paintbrush. Okay, now I have to do this. So can I show you? I'm going to show you back here. Right. So I know, I'll show you right here on the edge. Because it's this isn't paint, this isn't painted. So I'll just go, I just hold it, land, and pull. Oh, I ran out of paint. And then I get more paint. Stab, stab my paint. So there's lots. Then I touch the bottom, hold my paintbrush upside down, stab. Oh, it's smoother. Don't keep trying to push down from the top. Push down and then catch it up in the middle. Okay, let me show you. Okay, don't worry about the curve at the top. We'll do that last. Okay, so I stab, get a big blob of black. We're not scared of black right now. We need it to be thick. So it pushes the paint on either side like this and makes nice smooth beads down the side. So we're gonna bring it closer. Now you just touch the top and I go smash, pull, I ran out. See, it's all dry. I'm sad, no I'm not. I stab and get more paint. It's a big lump on my paintbrush. Upside down paintbrush, land and pull straight up. Hey, it meets in the middle all perfect. And how come I can't go like this up and down? It'll make a furry uh, a handle. We want a furry handle. Now just what's left on your paintbrush, don't get more. Make a lowercase n. Lowercase n, um, try again. Lowercase n, 
So I don't want to see that sharpie. There. Lowercase n. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to get our what's left of our white and get this medium paintbrush, but we're, we're not going to use the red. That'll make pink. We're going to make rain. We're going to get this end right here. And I'll get how much I have left. I'm going to get, and it has blue in it. So we're making rain. But you have to scratch up for a raindrop. Land up like that. I'll show you. It's like, oh my God. I don't care. Totally straight up and down paintbrush. Land up. <gasps> you want to see it up close? It has to list it. They're all lumpy. We don't care. I get another scoop. Put it somewhere else. Upside down paintbrush. Land scratch. Oh, that one's crickety. Must be very, very, very rainy. I'm trying to make them straight. Land straight up. Oh, it didn't scratch. Rip. I'm trying to get that scratchy point at the top. Maybe somewhere else. And don't go into this water, just in the rain. Oh, catch it. They're like meteors, upside down meteors. Pew, pew. I got a scoop like a pearl, like a big blob. Pew, pew. Mm, one down here, but not in the dark part. Pew. Doesn't matter how they come out. Every raindrop is different. Pew. Turn it, I got a blob on this side. Pew. Oh, it didn't scratch. Oh, I can hear it when I scratch. Good. Isn't that pretty? Little raindrops. Good job. Do you want to put more? Not too many because we like we like our, our, our water. When you run out of paint on your stick, they just become very tonic. Good job, you guys. What do you think? Does it look like rain? A rain? Good job. How come we don't put it down here? Because it should have splashed right here. And I don't want to try to draw a splash. Your brain will explode. <laughs> Trying to make the water go. No. So we just don't. <laughs> because it's hard. So we'll just let the rain almost hit the ground. And then not. Easier. Okay, so you, you did a good job. Me too. Good job, everybody. <laughs>